Jasmine. What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another Wax Party promo break just sold out. 2022 Panini Select Football, which is a brand new release today, guys. Six box hobby half case break. Picketing number three. Now, my printer looks like it's out of ink. We'll change it up in a little bit. So, here is the customers that are in the break. Adam Coverman got double last ball mojo again. Cardinals and Broncos. And then here's everybody else in the break there for PYT3. So there you go, guys. And here is the fresh K Solo. So one, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right. Here we go. Roll it to six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna go with the right side. So this left side here would be for page number four, which will be coming up next after this. All right, then we'll rip two boxes at a time, guys. Alright, here we go guys. First two boxes. We got a Derek Carr for the Raiders. 1099. Let me actually just have the checklist, or the, not the checklist, but pull up the sheet right here. And Raiders, that'll be Ryan. You got a Justin Jefferson. And there's an XRC. With a Danny Gray to 75. 49ers going to Sean Maddock. 
So we'll use this. We'll show that a little after these two boxes. Isaiah Spiller out of 199, and then a JC Horn to 299. Oh, did we skip over Purdy Riggy? Sorry. Let me see where was that. Well, first of all, I skipped over a Ritter rookie. Oh, yeah, there it is. Field level. All right, let's continue on. Whoa. One of one, Brees Hall. Look at that. Kind of hard to see the one of one. I wish they would have put it over here to the side. But Neon Icons, Brees Hall, one of one. Nice one there. And that's going to go to Wayne and the Jets, Jets, Jets. There you go. We got a Mike Evans relic. That's for the Buccaneers. Who's the one working right now, Rex? Me or you? Huh? Mike White. To 149. We got Zay Jones. Cameron Jordan. And then Corlin Sutton to 30. Nice one there for the Denver Broncos. Broncos, that is uh, Adam Coverman, last ball mojo. Dave Montgomery to 49. It means I'm off for the day, Rex. Doesn't apply to you because you're, you're an actual bum. B. John, or Brian Robinson, I'm to B. John. Brian Robinson Jr. to 249. Gary Terry McLaurin to 75. 75 Rashad White. Sean Burks. Tie dye. Roquan Smith. And try on Davis Price, 49ers. Wow, two XRCs in this. All right, here we go. Two XRCs. XRC, card number 511, and I do have the checklist pulled up. 511. And it's wide receiver two, which is Quinton Johnston, card number 511. He's a big, big receiver out of a TCU, I believe.
All right, nice. And that's going to go to the Chargers. And Ed. Let's go with the next XRC. Card number 519. Defense 2. Which 519 looks like it's Devon Witherspoon. Which was the second defensive player. Cornerback out of uh, Illinois. So, I, uh, so Seattle Seahawks with that one. Alright, so Seahawks with that one. That's, uh... Where's the Seahawks at? That's Leah. Alright, let's continue on, guys. Next two. All right, here we go. We have a Derek Carr for the Raiders out of 99. And how about a little Teddy Bruschi? Teddy Bruschi for the Patriots. That's going to uh, Tran. A little Patty Mahomes. Out of 199. Nick Bolton. And Chris Olave. Nice a little RPA. Saints. Going to Matt Smith. 34 out of 199. We have a Derek Stingley. Out of 49. Peter with the Texans. And Chase Young, spark plugs. And it looks like a little acetate's kind of coming off at the top right there. Uh, oh, did I?
Oh, yeah, we got a little, uh, what is it, sweet level? I do have a top load sleeve list, though. I don't know if Aiden Hutchinson was on it. Let me check. But I'll at least leave him up, though. He was not for at least like silver bases, but I'll sleeve him up though. All right, let's continue on. Nick Bonito. We got a Darick Forrest Jr. out of 49. Patty Mahomes. Got a little Kenneth Walker neon signs. And Sauce Gardner to five. How about that? Color match two. What a break for the Jets. Good lord. Wayne, not only did you get a one on one Brees Hall earlier, now you got a uh, out of five Sauce Gardner. Three out of five. I always be hitting Jets on release day, honestly. Kobe Bryant to 249. Keenan Allen, sorry, to 99. Like Is that sauce green? Yeah, it's a die cut. Yeah, Rex, did you also see that they filled up their arena, uh, their stands yesterday? Alright, last one here and then we'll continue. Oh, is that another green? I think it is. JC Horn. Two out of five. That's our second green of the case. And that's not a rookie, technically, but. There you go. Yeah, that's like almost sold out, Rex, because they don't actually have it. Well, they do have a huge arena, but they put like this huge tarp at the top, so no one really sits there. Not even for the Raider games, honestly. But that's a lot better than their like six thousand people attendance daily, nightly. Uh, James Harrison patch autograph. They're trying to reverse boycott their their uh, oh, nice pickings there. Boy Mave. out of one forty nine. Garrett Wilson. We got a Justin Fields to 99. I mean, it's... Uh, Rex, to be honest, it, it's not always on the fans, man. It's just more like the ownership doesn't want to spend any money. It always comes down to money when it's stuff like that. There's another reason why the Vegas deal hasn't happened yet either, because they're trying to use taxpayer money to help pay for the stadium. So, again, they're trying to show you that the fans aren't the problem in the city of Oakland. It's the city of Oakland and the ownership. That's what it always comes down to. Plus, you're, when your team's not good, you're not going to sell out stadiums. Especially if you haven't been good for this long, vice versa. But it always comes down to money, man. People don't want to pay money out of their pocket to renovate things. They'd rather use taxpayer money. They'd rather get, you know, ownership doesn't want to spend money.
for sure. I mean, look, I would go to a game in Vegas rather than going to Oakland, man. That place is a dump. <laughs> but at the same time, again, it's not like there isn't money between ownership slash city, vice versa, you know, or that to help renovate to get a new stadium. It's just, I think now the MLB just probably wants to be in Vegas now. Better opportunity. Again, it always comes down to just greedy owners. And uh, them just wanting to bail when a city can't really help. Now, this can be funny. I don't know how it works when they move to, to Vegas, but is the owner still going to be greedy? Or does he have to change because he's going to make more money probably there? Because to my knowledge, baseball does not have a salary cap, right? There's no salary cap in baseball. Here we go. Cooper Cup. Elijah Moore to two ninety nine. Bailey Zappi. At a 149. So Judge is having a monster break. Jalen Waddle. Yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's like the Yankees and Dodgers and Red Sox, all these big organizations that have money spend money on big players maybe they don't win right obviously that's the ultimate goal but guess what i don't think the dodgers yankees and any of those owners are hurting for any money aiden hutchinson patch autograph there you go you know like so regardless even though they're not winning building these crazy teams with all the money they have they're not losing any money either probably you know so yeah, why spend a little when look what that's pretty much got you, Brian Burns. But yeah, I believe I don't think baseball has a salary cap, so I don't know how that structure works. I don't know if like they're required to spend X amount at least minimum, or they do what they want with their money. And plus, honestly, even though they don't get fans to the arena, they still got TV deals, they got sponsorships, they got all this shit. So even if the stands are empty, they're probably still making money, honestly. But, yeah, I mean, you can grow your organization and, and obviously support of your team more if you did a little bit more, probably. And Christian Kirk for the Jaguars. Tristan. By the way, I think the whole support yesterday for the Oakland Athletics fans is trying to show that the fans are not the problem. It's, it's really the ownership when it comes down to it. Because the ownership is not trying hard enough. And again, I don't blame him if he wants to go to Vegas, but he's going to have to spend money in Vegas if he wants it to work. Nice Alec Pierce color match. White that's going to the cold Zach. Trent McDuffie to 75. AJ Brown is 75. David Bell to 199. 
Yeah, autograph wise, it's been good for the Jets. We did get a couple XRCs. I think we're still missing one. And we haven't seen a zebra yet, so. If we don't get anything else in the second half of this stack here, that second half could be pretty darn loaded. So let's check it out. Let's check it out here. Good luck, guys. Brady Silver. We got a Jameson Williams to 149. Garrett Wilson. And actually, there's our third XRC. Nice to Fon Diggs. That is a tie dye to 25. Geno Smith. Alright, let's check this out, guys. Last hit right here. XRC, card number 505. QB5, and that's Hendon Hooker. Nice. For the Detroit Lions. All the select happening here. And there you go, folks. So second half is coming up next right now. Um, got a sauce green. Aiden Hutchinson. A lot of nice stuff here. A couple XRCs. And then a one on one there. So appreciate it, guys. Now let's switch scenes and let's do the Wax Party giveaway spot. Roll. One and a five, six times. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Six times, one and a five. Tristan, nice. Congrats, buddy. You are the winner for uh, select number three. So thanks, guys. Number four is coming up next.